hard for me to pick the next song. What uh, did you pick? I'm well, I'm yeah. you know, so I I went back and forth. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Um, because I could have gone with "Truth Be Told," which I think is just a very nice, kind of simple song that says a lot. Could have gone with that. Uh, could have gone with "Lord of All" because I could see you up on stage mm. just leading it. Mm-hmm. Could have gone with that. Uh, even in exile, I think it says a lot. I didn't choose any of those. <laughs> <laughs> but awesome. but here's the thing, like all of those songs, this 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 album has this theme that that talks about uh, you know the times that we've thrived, the times we've survived. It mm. talks about the victories and the failures. It hmm. talks about it's the scars that make us who we are, right? So I want to talk about the hands of Jesus. Oh, wow. But I want to talk about uh, a little bit about how, what is it in, in Crowder's faith journey from the time you discover Jesus mm. to the day we sit here now mm. that brings lyrics like touching the untouchable, loving the unlovable, forgiving the unforgivable, breaking bread and pouring wine, pick up a cross that should be mine. Arms open, palms stretched wide. They keep picking me up again and again, taking me in just as I am. All of me, all I have, all I need is the hands Mm. of Jesus. And then it talks about they're precious and strong, calm seas, right wrongs. But one of my favorite lines is if they can take a nail, they can take your shame. Mm. Mm. So where does this (laughs) come from? I Well, I think think that they're... You know, I've talked about empathy quite a bit, but for me, um, I, I, all of us, we're all in the same boat. We want to be known fully and accepted and loved. And that seems to be what we strive for most, you know, um, from the shoes to the hat to the beard. To I, wa- I want you to think I'm cool. I want you to like the music I'm making. I want you to feel like I'm striving to do good um all of those things are are just uh, 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 we're, we're, there's such fragility in the human and to know that there's a god who sees us completely and still extends himself in a way that's just beyond comprehension to give his only son and for his only son to take what should be ours is just mind blowing and i can't get i can't get over that I get to sing about that, um, that I get to participate in a relationship like that. And it causes me to want to tell other people, like, you're not going to believe this story is the craziest of stories. You're not going to believe it. You're loved. Um, despite your failures, despite the way that you feel like you'll never be enough, um, you're, you're, you're made fearfully and wonderfully. And that's just something that we don't hear or, or experience a lot in our day-to-day you know mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't see that communicated a lot on social media <laughs> or the way that we consume a lot of the information that we get doesn't tell us that it tells us that we need this or that to be fulfilled and it's usually an empty end of our um, efforts um, so that would be it, it uh, as well what you what you said um I love that this the exile is actually part of uh, I, I work in threes. Mm-hmm. I need I need my process is to have boundaries, and so I'm always working in three album cycles uh, because it's the contract I signed with my label. <laughs> I figure if you're signing on the dotted line, you should know what you're getting yourself into. So I just it just seems more uh, it's helpful for me in my process. But we're in the, this is the exile part of uh, promise, exile, return. Sort mm-hmm. of the narrative of scripture that mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, our story begins in a garden, mm-hmm. walking and talking in perfect communion with our maker, and we mess it up. And I feel like we can all, we all know what that feels like, that there's a longing for Eden, there's a longing for home, and we know we know and can sense that we've been displaced. And that's the whole arc of the story. And in the exile period of the Israelites' journey, there's still a lot of beauty that happens. Uh, this this album is very earthy and very horizontally focused. There's a lot of it's more storytelling to one another. Like here's here's what it feels like to be displaced and dislocated, and yet there's still some hope here. 
uh, Dan, one of my favorite exile stories and, and one of my favorite persons in scripture is Daniel. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Daniel doesn't happen without exile. Mm-hmm. Daniel mm-hmm. happens in exile and he gets the ear of the king even in the middle of displacement and dislocation and the results of some bad decisions. Bad decisions led to displacement and and here he is in Babylon, but he's got the ear of the king and still gets thrown into lion's <laughs> den. But what happens? God shuts the mouth of the lion, and it's mm-hmm. just a quiet moment. There's no roar. There's no in in a in a still way. God is active and at work. And and to me, that's what this album is about. It's about those moments where you can see the activity of God, and I can express to you that He is active, and He will come through because He's come through for me. And so it's it's a very personal um, album in, in that way. But there's the return coming. And so what happened in this process, um, and I'm a little dim. I've been doing this for a while, but I was mm-hmm. a little dim and didn't see what was happening until uh, real late in the process. I'm writing these songs, and I'm like, oh, this is perfect for the exile. You know, somebody prayed, perfect mm-hmm. for the exile. Uh, Grave Rider, perfect for the exile. And then another song would pop out, and I'm like, this is an amazing song, but this doesn't go on this album. And I, that's never been the case in all of my music making if it's being written, it's because we're trying to write for a particular idea or theme, and it's and it usually fits. And and these songs kept coming that felt really wonderful, and I love the songs, but they don't fit. It, and then all of a sudden, I realized the return is coming at the same time as the exile, mm-hmm. and I couldn't mm-hmm. believe I was in the metaphor that mm-hmm. I was trying to write about. Of yeah. course, in the middle of exile, he'll give you songs to sing on the other side. Right. Mm-hmm. So. The yeah, the last song on the deal is that truth be told, and it yeah. and it 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 one of the my favorite lines on the whole project is pointing to what's coming, and it's like every little thing is going to be all right on the, <laughs> on other, the other side, side of right. exile. And yeah. so the cover that you see of the exile, if you look carefully, it's a billboard looking in. It's in a desolate location, and and if you look closely, you can see behind the word exile is the word return written backwards. Mm. And so the other cover that's coming will be from the perspective looking back mm. and you'll see return and mm-hmm. all vivid orange that we're playing with in the, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what Pantone color it is, mm-hmm. but this Pantone <laughs> orange mm-hmm. that we've got in the uh, uh, material for the exile will be that the return font. And then it'll be this verdant, beautiful rolling hills full of life and beautiful, vibrant flowers coming. And it's just in the middle of what looked like was desolate if you just turn your view mm. briefly, you'll see that there's life blooming, and uh, so I, I love it. We've ha- we made two records at once, and and uh, I don't know when we'll actually roll the return out, but the exile and the return kind of came at the same time because nice. the faucet was on. So, well played, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> <laughs> 